Welcome back to my channel, everyone. This is going to be a very different video from what we usually do. Now, if you've been watching my channel for a while, you will know, of course, that I do residential sales in Los Angeles. But today, we are not in LA. In fact, we're not even in the country. We are currently in Toronto. Can't get over this view, I really can't. Besides all of that, you're probably wondering why the heck am I out of the country? And the reason for that is that in the last two months, I picked up real estate speaking and coaching on social media and marketing for other realtors across the country. And now I guess I can say internationally, which is something that I still can't wrap my own head around. But anyways, I wanted to take you along with me on this really crazy chaotic week um, and kind of give you a glimpse of my life. And so I hope you enjoy it. And let's go back starting on to Monday where I had to catch my Uber at 5 a.m. for my first flight. I really don't know what I'm supposed to do with all of this space, considering I'm gonna be in here probably for a few hours max. Got my Cobalt Banker logo, by the way. But it's 40 degrees right now, so we are, we are bundling up. Everything that we're talking about today is all about perception because that is pretty much ev about everything nowadays, right? They're, everyone's gonna Google you. If you have a listing appointment tomorrow, I guarantee you that person has Googled you to the nines and figured out everything that they can figure out about you. And if your digital presence does not check out or look great, they're gonna have an idea of you when you show up at their door. That's probably not the idea that you want them to have. <laughs> bed is really calling for me right now. Really calling for me. We gotta go to dinner and then I'm gonna jump into bed literally as soon as we're back and pass out. But we're gonna go check out this really cool view. So it's 9.50 right now and I was about to get in bed and my client called me saying they wanted to list their house wanted to sign the listing agreement tonight. Make up all feet, high heels, with jeans, they're all waiting. I'm on my way, yeah. Looking in the mirror. All right, good morning. We are ready for the day. I'm feeling a little chaotic right now. It's hard waking up. It's hard waking up because it feels like 3 a.m. at late time. But anyways, it is 7 o'clock. I'm already late. I need to be downstairs right now. So we're going to skin up. Today's a little weird. We are in a hotel. No, we're not in a hotel. What am I saying? Obviously, it's too early for me right now. We are in a museum, which is weird because 99.99% of the time we teach your classes in a hotel conference room. But out of all of the weeks, for some reason, today they got booked out. And so we are teaching here. Turn that music up, you know we don't give a what on our way, yeah. we're on our way. Yeah. To the party like my and social media is to bring a sense of credibility to you as an agent, less so for you to go out and actually get this done. Your door knocking, your cold calling, say you're having an open house this weekend and you meet a client, you give them your business card and they look you up and see that you have this amazing digital presence. The look in your eyes, you can't hide it. Oh, baby, I know I turn you. All right, it's officially day three. Let's do it. So, I want to hear from you guys. What hidden messages did you pick up on? If you were a buyer or seller watching that video, what did you? What message did you hear? So, you want to showcase your local expertise. Again, you're not selling a house, you're selling a community. So you want to make sure that you're the go-to person for local information. Even if it's about restaurants, attractions, schools, community activities, parks, 
all of these things to do. This is all part of the lifestyle when you're buying a home because you're not just buying the actual physical structure. Put your hands to the sky if you catch in a vibe. We ain't gonna stop for nothing. Yeah, you can bring your friends, we won't mind that. This has been a very long day. I mean, yes, I'm filming in the bathroom because this is the best lighting at 12.30 in the morning. So I just landed in Toronto. I've been up since 6 a.m. I'm also losing my voice because I've been up so long and speaking for so long today. So I'm gonna go to bed and uh, we're gonna be up tomorrow again at 6 a.m. teaching another class. And I'll give you a quick, uh, I'll give you a quick hotel tour, and then I'm gonna go to bed. Well, I'm to keep me company downtown before the clock runs out. Sun is shining, but the rain is welcome too. Friends are nearby, don't need another view. Time is not on. All right, stay four. I am not dressed in cold maker care today because this is a non-cold maker class. Um, but this is about to be, I think, a little over 200 people, so it's gonna be our biggest class of the week. Also, my triceps are so sore from holding the mic, never would have expected that. So, I'm feeling a little uneven, maybe I'm gonna talk with my left side today. Also, I know, my voice, my voice needs to wake up and also get hydrated. <clears throat> Talking. Is, is not an easy gig. Today, nine days of clothes into a carry-on, especially when the temperature tastes like hot, cold, hot, cold, and it's 33 degrees outside right now. It's not easy. But the rain is welcome to Friends are nearby, don't need another view Time is not on my mind, but then it's you Oh, I love it when the love comes around and Today, we do a ton of print marketing, brochures, flyers, postcards You want to make sure that your website is on every single one of those things Including your social media Because the whole point of this is to add credibility to yourself and to your business And so if someone gets your marketing materials want them to look you up and our goal today is to make sure that everything online looks super pretty and super nice so that they're going to think that you're an expert that you're really successful you're killing it you guys look at this hotel room how nice is this you walk over let's go check out the view Wow. This is so awesome. No, not yet. Whoa. No, no, not yet. Whoa. I've gone this whole week without a latte, so this feels really good and exciting. downstairs at 7 10 a.m. I have to be done at 7 15 and I need to check out so we're gonna quickly suit up my luggage which is always the worst thing to do because there's so much stuff that I have to cram into one spot but I'm going to get that done and head downstairs and I'm gonna go on our way to Markham where our class is today. We just got to our class location it's 8 5 a.m. and it's such a rainy day but anyways this is our class setup for today. We're looking at about 100 people. So I'm currently trying to get my AV equipment set up. So I have my laptop here. I have my HDMI port, my charger. We have our mic, um, a little clicker here. And then I'm trying to figure out how to get that HDMI connected to my computer.
hotel for the night. This is our last night in Canada and then I'm headed home tomorrow night after class. This is the room. I really like this corner booth.